Hey viewers, welcome to Real Astrology. Once again, I'm Vanita Lenka, I'm a Vedic astrologer. And today I'm going to be discussing part two of Jupiter's ingress in Taurus sign. I've already done part one, wherein I've mentioned about how this Jupiter transit is in Taurus. And in general, what does it mean? Please do refer to that. But in this part, I'm going to be sharing with you about the global as well as economic uh, impacts of this Jupiter in Taurus. Jupiter, the Deva Guru, is the teacher who dispels ignorance, offering wisdom and guidance. Very, very important in a pious planet who is the giver and the ruler of money, finances, peace, optimism. So this embodies the social justice, religion, sincerity. Let's start with this uh, presentation, which is part two. And of course, I will be sharing the part three soon because I know you all are waiting for it. Also time. sharing with you how the retrograde is going to be and what happens when there is a retrograde Jupiter in your natal chart. All that will also follow. Alongside, I will share when Jupiter is transiting over your natal planets, what happens. And of course, not to forget Tala Chakra. So let's start with the presentation on Jupiter's transit in Taurus sign. The Vedic astrology perspective, first of all, is that Jupiter's transition into the Earth sign of Taurus holds profound astrological significance, offering insights into the global impact over the upcoming year from this May to the next May 2025. So this shift in the heavens ushers in a period of stability, growth and abundance for many. It is definitely a very, very impactful transit. And uh, people will be saying that Jupiter transit in Taurus ruled by Venus. So this is not going to be that great because this is a, a culmination of two opposite energies. But remember, these two energies are positive energies. So whenever these two come in contact with each other, there definitely has to be expansion in those areas, whatever the other sign rules. So it is definitely about stability, growth, abundance for many. So what is uh, this Jupiter transit in Taurus going to be? First of all, this is an auspicious shift. The Taurus sign is getting active. Jupiter is transiting there. So this is considered to be a prosperous period in Vedic astrology, signaling uh, opportunities for growth and abundance. Now, this is an earthy sign. So the combination of Jupiter's expansive uh, influence and Taurus's stable, grounded nature creates a potent blend of materialism, sensuality, and pragmatism. Why uh, sensuality? Because its ruler is Venus. Then is the financial opportunity. This is a favorable time for finance, investments, real estate, accumulation of wealth, provided one navigates it judiciously. Then there is heightened enjoyment also attached to this transit. That is, the transit will likely enhance appreciation for finer things in life, such as art, music, cuisine, you will find that people have, have started to get into this kind of a, a regime more. If you are, want to pursue anything that you have not from a long, long time, some hobby that you have had, and now is the time that you will pursue it. Then it is going to be in, uh, encouraging diplomacy and stability uh, as far as the nations are concerned. So this promotes stability, reliability. There will be some long-term solutions to the conflicts which are happening, like wars, etc., which are happening. So this will be favoring diplomacy over aggression. Impact on global economy and financial markets. This transit is going to bring about increased investor confidence and optimism, which could drive market growth. While inflationary pressures may lead to volatility in currency and commodity prices. A lot of research I've done and then I've come to this. Okay. Economic security as a priority. Nations might focus on economic collaborations and treaties that enhance mutual benefits, reducing tensions. Sectors like real estate, banking, manufacturing are likely to benefit, while sectors dependent on discretionary spending may face challenges. Policymakers will need to carefully manage the impl implications to maintain stability and sustainable growth. Boost in agriculture and natural resources is also expected with Taurus having a strong connection to the earth, earth element, which could lead to prosperity in industries related to agriculture, 
gardening, natural resources. You will come up with new ideas actually, you know, and they might be increased investments or innovations in these areas that can lead to economic growth. Focus on practical solutions rather than thinking without tangible solutions. Uh, this could lead to more grounded approaches in peace negotiations where practical and immediate benefits are prioritized, potentially making peace agreements more appealing and durable uh, within the nations. Interpersonal relationships are going to get better. Then lastly, resource management. Taurus also rules over resources because it's the second house ruler of the natural zodiac. So resources and their management. It's very going to be very well done with Jupiter's transit here. This will encourage better management of resources, which are often at heart of many conflicts, potentially easing tensions related to resource scare, scarcity amongst the countries. So this is definitely a positive transit for that reason as well. Now, how is this going to be for uh, personal finances and personal investments? Though I will be covering the third part uh, as per the 12 sign ascendance or uh, sign predictions. So here, Jupiter's transit in Taurus can signify a period of increased financial abundance and growth opportunities for personal investments as well as it is on the global level. Enhanced earning potential uh, will will be felt because individuals now will actually experience an uptick in income bonuses, lucrative business ventures during this transit. Favorable market conditions, that is stocks, real estate, and other investment sectors, they may see a positive trend encouraging strategic portfolio diversification. So career advancement, financial gains on the Personal level, it is definitely going to be very positive for the ones who are starting new business, securing investments. So this may inspire you to pursue further education, training, certifications, and enhancing your professional career growth and skills. Now, how is it going to be affecting us uh, on the relationship front? How is the family dynamics going to change with this transit? Because it was with Ramakithu Axis or in Ramakithu Axis earlier. So how is it going to be in Taurus side? See, this is definitely going to be very positive for heightening the harmony and intimacy between the families. Uh, and relationships may strengthen as partners and loved ones find renewed appreciation for one another. Financially, this transit facilitates improved household finances, allowing people or um, families to invest in their future to enjoy the time together. So this is definitely going to be activating those areas as well. Now, how is the spiritual and philosophical shift with this transit? This is definitely very positive for greater awareness and connection to the divine. Uh, deeper exploration of life's purpose and higher truths. This is also very positive for insights that inspire personal growth and evolution. Jupiter's transit through Taurus will usher in a period of profound spiritual and philosophical introspection. Individuals may experience an ex expanded sense of consciousness, seeking deeper connections to the divine and the mysteries of the universe. This heightened awareness will drive a renewed pursuit of meaning as people strive to uncover the higher truths and purpose that guides their lives. The influx of transformative wisdom will inspire personal growth and evolution catalyzing a shift in perspectives and values. How is the health and wellness uh, during this transit overall? This is definitely going to be giving you a balanced lifestyle. Prioritize exercise, nutrition, rest, and manage your stress. Engage in mindfulness and relaxation practices. These are remedies also. And what is a holistic approach? Integrate traditional and modern wellness modalities. Focus on establishing a regular exercise routine, nourishing your body with wholesome foods and making time for rest and relaxation. Manage stress through mindfulness practices and meditation and holistic techniques to support your overall well-being. Now, there are certain cultural and societal transformations also that we are going to be experiencing with this transit. First of all, Jupiter's transit will catalyze a reprisal of societal values, emphasizing the importance of stability, 
security and sustainable living over unbridled consumerism. Spiritual Renaissance. This period could witness a surge in spiritual and philosophical exploration. People will go and seek deeper meaning and connection amidst the uncertainties of times. Cultural exchange with Jupiter's expansive influence there may be increased cross-cultural dialogue and appreciation, fostering greater understanding and unity across diverse communication. Shift in priority. Now people will come to know so societal priorities may shift with a greater emphasis on environmental stewardship, community resilience, and the pursuit of fulfillment over material acquisition. How we can navigate the year ahead strategies and recommendations adapt and pivot be ready to adjust your plans and pivot your approach as jupiter's transit in taurus brings unexpected changes maintain flexibility to capitalize on emerging opportunities don't let go of any maximize opportunities identify areas of growth and abundance during this transit strategically invest in assets ventures or personal development to maximize the benefits of Jupiter's expansive influence. Maintain balance. Beware of the potential for excess and indulgence. Practice moderation in all aspects of life to maintain equilibrium and make the most of this transformative period. All right, so this is it for the part two and I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all understood what, you, what are the do's and the don'ts right now that we have to be prepared for. And of course, on the uh, 12 side predictions, it will make things much, much clearer. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.